What's happening guys, Gio from CrossFit Federal Hill in Baltimore, Maryland. We are bringing you part two of tips on the assault bike. So today we're gonna to talk about pacing. First thing we're gonna go over, a distance, short, medium, and long. This is just how we define them here. Short, below 60 seconds. So that's your sprint pace, all out, leaving nothing left in the tank. 60 seconds would be the long end of that. If you've ever been on the bike all out for 60 seconds, that's extremely challenging. You can do bouts of 30 seconds, 20 seconds, or a good test is 20 cals for time. So we're gonna pan over here to Blair. She's gonna be helping me out today on the assault bike. Your sprint pace. If you watched video one, you might break a little bit in technique because we really want you to drive down with each leg. So you might see a little shift or lean side to side. I'm gonna have Blair go into her sprint pace. Excellent. She keeps really good form to begin with, but if you noticed anything, it was slightly shifty as she was going side to side because we really wanted her to drive in and lean into each and every pedal stroke to create as much force as she could possibly create. So only in the sprint portion are you going to break form just slightly. Now, next piece is our medium distance, anywhere that's between one and five minutes on the bike. So a good test for this one is to try to hold males 400 watts and females 350 watts. Again, this medium distance could be anything in a workout that you choose, but really, we really like this test. It puts you in a difficult position because you're in control of your own destiny. It only gets harder and harder, and you can always hold on for a couple more seconds. So when do you want to give up is really the test. You might, if you're really good, be able to take this out longer than five minutes, six, seven, eight minutes. But it's a great test of your endurance. We're not going to have Blair demo this too much, but what we're going to show is not hanging your head and just staring at the monitor. So she goes into it. A lot of people tend to drop their neck. Good. You want to put her neck up. Awesome. Hard to talk over this thing, so I'm just gonna have her put her feet up on the pedals. Good position, hands on the handles. Good position, so she's leaning slightly forward, her head's looking up. The head drop is what she did in the workout there. Dropped her chin, glances at the monitor, and then she's just kind of like side to side. That's what we see people doing, especially in that medium distance. Like, this is long, this is painful, my head's down, I'm just gonna try to suck, suck it up. Really getting your head up, breathing, helps a ton to open up your airway, just as we talked about in part one. All right, last piece, long. Not too much to go over here, besides this should be a recovery. We can even put warm up in here. If you're above five minutes at like a leisurely pace, a low wattage, then this isn't something that should be attacked in a workout. You shouldn't be thinking that you're trying to advance anything in this position. It should be something where it's a longer workout, it's a shorter workout, you hop on the bike and you recover for five or six minutes at a good pace excellent thing to do before or after a workout but just know that it's recovery and you're not really working or building your engine thanks guys we'll keep up the assault bike ticks tips leave comments below if you have any questions